What's up guys, Judo Sloth here and today I wanted to talk a little bit about ClashCon 2016 which has been announced for Los Angeles in November. Now I wanted to share a few of my thoughts and ideas, how I feel we can progress this event on and make it an even bigger success than last year. And I do have to say that I was not fortunate enough to attend the event, my opinions are purely based off the live stream, I have talked to some people that were at ClashCon, but if I am duplicating ideas and things that did actually take place, then please just correct me in the comments section below. And with that, part of the reason I'm doing this video is to get your feedback as well, so please share any thoughts or ideas you have about ClashCon in the comments section below. If you did attend last year, please share your experience with me, and then we can try and pass that on to Supercell. The more people we have bouncing ideas around, the more feedback we will be able to provide them, and ultimately, that is what they want. What do the community want to see at this year's ClashCon? So if you didn't catch the live stream last year, I've thrown some gameplay in the background from the developer war, which they had with Mild Aggression who won a trip to ClashCon in order to face off against the developers, and I really enjoyed this. It was obviously just a bit of fun, the developers had modded the troops shall we say, and you can see a few of the replays in the background with some crazy OP troops. And that brings me to my first point, which is, I think the more things people can get involved with, the better. Again, I don't know if this took place last year, but having the ability to raid on developer iPads or with these crazy modded troops would be something unique and a bit of fun for people that they could go home and tell all of their friends that they were able to raid with these crazy troops and it would just be a bit of fun and enjoying the game at the end of the day. Now I know there were tournaments running last year on the live stream and clans that had featured in previous tournaments and events leading up to ClashCon and in relation to Mild Aggression I think there should be an organised tournament where you can sign up five people that are attending the event, your clan beforehand and then you will be given an allocated time slot. You would go to a tournament booth where you would face off against another clan and then if you won the war and progressed to the next round, you would be told the next time that you had to return to the tournament booth. And at the end of the day, they could live stream the two top clans battling it out. Or ultimately, if the clan won the event, it might be an incentive for them to be able to face off against the Clash of Clans developer team or top YouTubers. Something that they could have a bit of prestige to say we warred against these guys and people would know that they were in with a chance of facing the dev team, YouTubers, elite war players, whatever it was. Obviously quite similar to the Clash Royale tournament that was organised where people merely had to just sign up. I think to be well organised this would have to be done prior to the event but if you knew that five members of your clan were attending the event I'm sure that wouldn't be too much of an issue. You could just sign up and then when you arrived at the event you would be given your time when you had to go to the tournament booth. And just before we move on from tournaments, I think the recent live stream with the Reddit clans versus YouTube was a great idea. I think as long as these are balanced, it was a nice relaxed atmosphere and it made for quite an easy watch. Now this is something that definitely would fit into ClashCon, you could look down a list and see which war you wanted to go and watch, but there is only so much they can do at the end of the day, they can't do everything. So maybe this is something that is best kept to the live streams. There certainly will be lots of wars going on at ClashCon, but what do you guys think? Would you like to see this at ClashCon? Just thrown out there, David vs Goliath, some of the larger YouTube channels versus some of the smaller guys, there is a lot of experienced clashes out there with reasonably small channels and I think that would be a great, great event. Now moving on to panels and workshops, alongside the troll war, this was again my favourite part of last year's ClashCon and I think the more of these that can be organised, the better, but again, there is only so much they can do. If you didn't see any of the workshops from last year, I'll link the ClashCon website in the description below. I'd highly recommend going and checking them out because they were very engaging and really, really informative. So the more of these that can be organised, the better. The more variety we have, we're going to be able to cater for more people and that is only a good thing. So we could have panels with anybody really, Q&As with the devs, YouTubers, elite war players, likewise with the workshops we could have attacking, base building, 
farming, how to run a successful clan, YouTube and content creation. There's a lot of people that make Clash of Clans content. I'm sure they would be interested in learning a thing or two or any tips they can get or people that are thinking about starting up. The list for workshops is endless really. So if you have any ideas, again, please share them in the comments section below so we can put these forward and hopefully bring them to ClashCon. And I am mainly focusing this video around Clash of Clans, but if you also have any Clash Royale ideas, then please just comment with them as well. Now, as I've already mentioned, there is only so much that people can do, but I would like to see the friendly challenge feature utilized at ClashCon, so it would be great if people could go up and challenge their favorite YouTuber or members of the dev team, again, elite war players. They could also be attacked by these guys and get feedback on their bases. An idea I quite liked on the forums, again getting people involved as much as you can, was that they could also have YouTubers comment over their attacks, and then they could view this up on a private or even non-private channel. Again, how practical this is, I'm not too sure, because the same guys would be in demand all of the time on the friendly challenges, on panel discussions, on everything, they just wouldn't have enough time to do it. Now everything we've talked about at this point has involved other people, but what about the ideas that Supercell and the organisers of the event can do solely by themselves? What can people get from actually going to the event? What are they going to get that people not going to the event won't? Now the first thing surrounds the update announcements. Now last year obviously we got Town Hall 11 announced, but I feel that this could be done significantly better. Now this stuff has all been mentioned before really, so I'm not going to go into too much depth of it, but really we want to see footage of the update. If possible, it would be amazing for people to actually play the update. There could be separate booths where they are the developer iPads, the one with the modded troops. Then you have iPads with the new update, which people can actually play. They could even act as beta testers and give feedback on the update. A simple questionnaire could be there. Even something as simple as a tick box exercise where people could feel like they're actually getting involved with the update itself. Obviously this would be something where they had to publish the results afterwards so people actually knew what the overall feedback was for the update. But again that is to the real high expectation scale. Even footage of the update, whatever it is that they've got, we all know that the updates aren't final until they're released. So even if it's not ready, just show us what you've got. What is what is working with it? What's not working with it? What challenges do you have? And just share that with the people at ClashCon. A few other ideas I had. Again, trying to think along the lines of getting people involved and unique things they can get by attending ClashCon. For those of you that bought gems and donated to the red charity in previous years, will know that you either got a red flag or a red shield to showcase on your town hall. I don't know how difficult this is with coding, but certainly everyone has their own individualized profile hashtag, which they could provide on signing up and they get something with a bit of prestige to show that they've been to ClashCon. Maybe this could be like a peck ahead on the town hall or something like that which would be there for a week or so, something a bit cool that people could show off to their friends. Again, in relation to your own profile and your hashtag, there could be a booth which you go to, give them your account details, and you get to see all kind of hidden stats that Supercell holds on your account. Now, I'm not sure what stats they actually hold, but whatever they could share, I'm sure that would be something people would love. I know I've definitely heard YouTubers mention on visiting Helsinki, how much money they've spent on the game. I'd personally like to see, for instance, how many barbarians I'd deployed over the course of playing Clash of Clans. How long have I actually played Clash of Clans for? What is my in-game time? I can't even imagine. How many times have I clicked the next button? All these kind of silly stats would be brilliant to see. But again, I don't know what information is actually held in relation to each player, so I don't know if this is even possible. A lot of clans have their own website now. They may do this for different reasons, whether it's recruitment, just a bit of fun or some strategy and discussion. But what if there was someone there with templates set up who could help you just drag and drop whatever you wanted in and you could set up your own clan website. 
I know last year there was the opportunity of having your picture taken within the Clash of Clans loading screen. I think this is a really cool idea because again, anything which gets people involved and gives them something they can take home from the event has got to be a positive in my eyes. Maybe they could take this a step further, have a full green screen, a Clash of Clans commercial set up, and you could feature in a Clash of Clans ad. So we've certainly covered a lot of things in this video, a lot of ideas bouncing around. Please share any of your own thoughts and ideas or experiences, like I said, from last year in the comments section below. Maybe there's some tweaks you feel uh, on my ideas. Please share any of them and we'll try and pass these across to Supercell because ultimately we want ClashCon to continue growing, continue being a bigger and better event every year. And the only way we're going to do that is putting ideas forward and giving feedback from the community itself. And that will finish off the video. I've been your host, Judo Sloth, and until next time, peace out, guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.